Hey guys, Hey Night Lake here, and my horse Stargazer. This is the first episode of my new series, SSO Funny Skits. So what this series is going to be about is basically some hilarious, I hope, and relatable circumstances that happen on Star Stable. And this episode is going to be about new players and non-star riders. But before I start filming it, I want to make sure you guys know that I have no intentions of being mean or rude to non-star riders or new players. These are just some experiences I went through when I was a new player and possibly you have been through too. So just wanted to make that clear. So I hope you guys enjoy and have lots of laughs. Thanks, enjoy. So we all know what it's like to be a new player. Of course, because we all had to start out as one. But unless you've played the game before or heard of it, you don't know what to expect. What you're gonna do or what you're gonna like achieve. So you start doing quests because you realize I can't leave the stable. And then when you get to leave the stable, you ride around for, I don't know, a few minutes and then you realize, hey, I'm gonna do more quests. And then once you get the, you know, two to three days of straight questing, you realize I am so bored of going around in circles. So I want to go where all the star riders go until you realize, oh no, you can't do that unless you pay for it. So you decide to go follow a star rider. I mean, come on, let's just follow them and see if they notice. And then they run into a place that you haven't unlocked. How disappointing is that? And then we go on to the next phase of training our horses. Day after day, we can't wait to level up. Of course, we only have like one or two races we can actually do. And then we get to the point where we do quests to unlock one or two more places. And we freak out because we're like, Ugh, we can go somewhere besides Moreland. And then those quests always take days because they're like, wait a day, wait a day. And you're like, fine, I'll do it, it's worth it. And so when we get to unlock for Pinta, it's amazing. Like, old man Jasper just became your best friend because he let you come into this amazing place of endless opportunities. <gasps> of course, you've never been here and you're like, you want to go and tell all your friends. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm in Fort Pinta. How long have you been here? And of course, everyone's looking at you like, we've been here for months and you're the newbie. So we're just going to like go explore. Of course, we're going to do the quest where we have to like, go talk to someone here, and we're just like taking it all in, like, this is for Penda, it's new, I can do so much now, I can go to two places, two whole places, lucky me, more quests, and then, of course, you all know that we all freak out when we get a quest that gives us clothes, and you're like, now I can alternate between the green top and the red top. Oh, this is going to be such an adventure. My friends will never know what I'm going to wear next. Green top or the red top. And then you unlock pants and you're like, now I can have two completely different outfits. I know, it's like astonishing every time. So you get here and you're like, clothes stores. I'm going to go buy something. What's star coins? I don't have star coins. And then somebody breaks your heart telling you you don't get star coins. Unless you pay for the game. And that's like totally mind blown. You are totally upset. And after 20 minutes of mourning that, you go back to reality. This place is awesome and I'm going to go explore. Six days later, you're done exploring. And then you want more. And then we all know what it's like to beg and beg our parents to get a Star Rider membership. And when it's all okay to get it, you're like, there's so much more out there. There is Veildale. There's the hollow woods. There's a place I have no idea how to pronounce, but it looks cool. And is that a fairy? Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. I will play Star Stable for the rest of my life. And then all the doors are opened. You have just unlocked being a star rider. You loved being a non-star rider and having adventures but now you're a big bad star rider and the first thing you're gonna do is look like all the other star riders buy new clothes try and save up enough star coins even though it takes forever to buy a new horse just like them <sighs> it's so beautiful that day 
And then you're like, what a waste actually questing. That is so boring. Until later on you realize you actually have to quest to unlock more areas. But for a few months, you're good on just what you've unlocked. It's all good. And that, that my friends, is the story of becoming a star writer. A girl, a horse, and a dream. So guys, hope you liked my first skit. It was pretty funny to make. It took me back a while to uh, my first days of being a non-star writer and getting to know Star Stable. And as you can see, I'm on my starter horse and what looks like a starter outfit. My starter pants and hat. I think I got rid of the boots in the top, but this is like my second top I got. And like, this is a starter saddle and like one of the first blankets or whatever, but I had to do it to make it more realistic. Of course, I didn't go back to my normal hair, but close enough. So I hope you guys again enjoyed it and are looking forward to more future skits. Thank you. Goodbye. Hayden here.